Digital disruption is changing how industries operate and successful digital transformation involves adapting your organization to thrive in this new environment. Today, we're going to take a look past the buzzwords and explore the real meaning of digital disruption and digital transformation. So there are mixed views in the industry. Digital transformation is actually not all that new, but many chief information officers may tell you that it involves modernization efforts and process efficiencies. While if you speak with the chief marketing officer, they may tell you that this is the organization's way of changing and adapting to customer needs. If you speak with your chief finance officer, they may even tell you that digital transformation is implementing technology and process changes to reduce the organization's overall cost base. So, as you can see, there are different views on digital transformation depending on the division in which you sit. But one thing is clear. Digital transformation is not going away. According to IDC research, 40% of technology spend will go on digital transformations. And according to Harvard Business Review, $1.3 trillion has been spent on digital transformation in 2018. According to Pierre Nutterm, the past CEO and chairman of Accenture, digital is the main reason just over half of the companies on the Fortune 500 have disappeared since the year 2000. That's a huge amount. So let's take a look at digital disruption and digital transformation in a little bit more detail. According to Gartner, Digital disruption is an effect that changes the fundamental expectations and behaviors in a culture, market, industry, or process that is caused by or expressed through digital capabilities, channels, or assets. That's a lot to take in. But digital disruption can be seen as changes in the industry that lead organizations to change how they operate. For example, a decade ago, we drove down to our local movie store to rent, rent the latest releases, but today we can watch them on our smartphones through streaming services like Netflix or Disney+. Instead of visiting your local bank, you can do transactions online or even on your smartphone. If you want to book a flight, you can do this without ever having to speak with a member of staff. So that's digital disruption. Let's take a look at digital transformation. According to Gartner, digital transformation is anything from IT modernization to digital optimization or the invention of a new digital business model. Digital disruption and advances in technology mean that many organizations are changing how they operate and even how they provide value to customers. According to Salesforce, Digital transformation is the process of using digital technologies to create new or modify existing business processes, culture, and customer experiences to meet changing business and market requirements. So let's use an example to illustrate this point. Well, the Encyclopedia, Encyclopedia, Encyclopedia Britannica had its proud place on many of our bookshelves, but with the rise of content online, Encyclopedia Britannica had to change its business model to become an online content provider. However, not every organization can adapt so well. The movie rental company Blockbuster attempted but failed in its transition, moving from, an on, moving from a content provider through its large store network to an online streaming service like Netflix. So, how can you lead digital transformation in your organization? Well, digital transformation is more than just implementing new technology, such as artificial intelligence, cloud computing, or the Internet of Things. It requires changes to your organization's processes and even its culture. According to George Westerman at MIT, digital transformation marks a radical rethinking of how an organization uses technology, people, and processes to fundamentally change business performance. For your digital transformation to be successful, your leadership team must be aligned on a common vision of what they want to achieve with digital transformation. Also, they must support mid-level management and operational staff in order to successfully implement the transition. Processes will change, staff will need reskilling, 
and your organization must be comfortable with a process of experimentation rather than seeking an overnight success. This can be difficult for many managers who have built their careers on fine-tuning their organization, only to now find that the industry and their customers have evolved, and it's them that need to play catch-up. So, let's begin to wrap it up. What are the key points? Digital transformation can be seen as a response to shifting environmental forces, as we've seen with digital disruption. Different managers have different views on what digital transformation means to their divisions and their departments, but your leadership team need to have a unified view on what is to be achieved within digital transformation. Finally, digital transformation is not just about technology. It requires adaptation to your organization's strategy, people, and processes. Did you find this video helpful? And do you want to know more about digital transformation? Feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. I'd love to hear from you. And remember, digital transformation is about more than technology. It is about leaders with the foresight to see change and the courage to reinvent their organization before others force them to.